A fired up Olivia Chow speaking to campaign volunteers. The progressive candidate is atop most of the polls by double digits. And with the election just nine days away, she says there are positive vibes amongst her camp. I am getting encouragement everywhere. People really want to build a caring and affordable city together. And that energy is so infectious. That signs of hope that they say that, yeah, we could do this. One of the other leading candidates, Mark Saunders, also on the trail. Saunders was supposed to speak about graffiti and public safety, but instead focused his energy on Chow. Enough is enough. I am the only candidate that can stop Olivia Chow. Olivia Chow has no plan. And he wasn't the only one. Anna Bailo, who is amongst the pack chasing Chow, also taking aim. Olivia Chow, that won't even tell you how much she's going to increase in property taxes. The former deputy mayor talking about her support for the LGBTQ plus community and of Hanlon's Point Beach while at the Toronto Islands. Bailao, who is either second or third depending on the poll, says she's gauging her support by in-person interactions. I'm paying close attention to it. I'm listening on the streets and at events and uh, at coffee parties that um, uh, residents are bringing their neighbors together and I'm joining them. That's what I'm really paying attention to. And with affordability at the top of the mind for most Torontonians, Mitzi Hunter laying out her plan to create affordable housing and protect renters. I want to fix the six so that people have an affordable place to live in the city that they love. With campaign signs out all across the city, mayoral debates wrapped, candidates are still stumping their message with the focus now on shifting to ensuring they can get out the vote as June 26th quickly approaches. Amar Khan, Global News.